Hey, what's up, D3 traders? I hope uh, you're having a great week so far. I am um, going, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite tips when it comes to the 200 period moving average. As you might know, as you can see on my charts, I only, I, I don't use any indicators other than the moving averages. And you can say volume, volume is an indicator. Um, mainly I use the 200 period moving average, which is the red line and the 20 period simple moving average which is the blue line i'll do a video at some point about the 20 ma but for today i have a few things to share with you about the granddaddy of all moving averages which is the 200 period moving average okay so to get started the first thing i want you to know is when you have a gap if you're a gap trader like myself and you have a stock that gaps just above the 200 it is extremely likely that it will get bought right at the open. See this? A gap just above the 200 and then bam, big, bo uh, big pop. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the SVRA uh, a while back, but the same thing. A gap above the 200 gets bought, right? Um, PTI, a gap under the 200 gets sold. Now. Keep in mind that if the stock gaps well below the 200, it may initially run up into it and then get sold. But usually 90% chance it'll get sold, regardless of the quality of the gap. You might think, well, this wasn't such a good gap. It doesn't matter. I've rationalized my way out of good, uh, out of bad gaps that were gapping under the 200 way too many times, meaning I've said to myself many, many times in the past, oh, I'm not going to take this trade. It's a bad gap. But if it if it's gapping under flat 200, it's it's good. You, you can automatically almost upgrade the gap. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly flat. It can also be a bit rising or declining. But when it comes to the 200 period moving average, flatness is truly king, is king. The, the, move, the 20 period moving average, it's more most powerful when it's trending. The 200 MA is most powerful when it's flat. We also I also remember Tesla. So UNFI, right? Take a look at the Tesla uh, not too long ago. Gapped above the 200, pulled back, didn't reach it, but got bought anyway. Often they reach it and then they bounce off of it. Uh, today we have air, but it, it, that wasn't uh, the gap that I wanted to talk about. It just, I saw this a couple of days ago from, from uh, last week and I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, talk about it. Not only does it get sold when it, when a stock gaps under the 200, but when you have a gap, let's say well above it and it drops to it, big drop to the, two, it usually will bounce off of it. Like we see here from a month ago, let's say on the on air uh, how about tell a gap well below the 200 still got sold to tell now why am i bringing this up because this was on today's gaps list so i i saw that and i thought okay I, i'll mention it but even if it's well below the 200 it's i mean not way down here but even if it's a little bit you know below the 200 not right below it it still will usually get sold and again, just like I showed you on uh, the air here, when it, it sold off hard into the 200 and got bought, you know, here's this, gapped way above the 200, got sold, and where did it stop at? Right at the 200. Uh, APDM also, from yesterday, gapped way above the 200, got sold, but where did it stop? Where did it bounce off of? So if you're looking at this and you're looking at the intraday charts and you're thinking, oh, this is setting up long. I don't maybe quite like the setup, but wait a second. It's right at the 200 MA on the daily chart. Bam, that automatically, you should automatically look to upgrade the play from maybe okay to excellent. Uh, but to tell you the truth, that's not all. That's not everything. If you are purely a day trader and you don't even look at the daily charts I took some pictures to show you uh, look at this a, a huge sell-off on the 15 we I call this play the Haas play it stops the stock dead in its tracks on the 5-2 it's better when there's multiple time frame alignment 
right? If you look at the this other play that I took a picture of, a multi-bar run up into the flat 200 on the 15, into the flat 200 on the five, bam, worked short uh, on the 15. Look at this, guys. Down, 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 down. The biggest bar, biggest volume at the 11:15 reversal time, and into the 200 period moving average. Perfect. That's a perfect long. Again, I prefer to, I, I love it when it when it happens on the 15 minute chart, but really the, the moving average applies, this rule that I'm sharing with you applies to any to, to any and every time frame. Now, if if you like to take core, if you like, if you play core, meaning position trade, long-term plays, or even swing trades, I always like breakouts that originate from the area of the 200 MA. Let me show you what I mean. See this? Look at this. When I see that the stock is breaking out from the 200, sometimes it's below it, sometimes it's above it, but from the area of the 200, this is the sort of breakout that I want to play or that I want to get involved in. N -E -N -B -E -V. I see that it tries to try to break it, multi multiple bars up into the 200, gets rejected. A pop into the 200 gets rejected. A pop into the 200 gets rejected. Finally above it, guess what? That's the thing I want to play. Right? Knock three times. Once, twice, three times, and then the fourth time takes it out. And IHD. This is a bit old. But look at this. Broke out from where? You tell me. From where? Right from the off the 200. And look at the move. 500% probably or so. Uh, Asna. This I played actually as a co as a long term play. Look at this. Where did the breakout originate from? Where did the move come from? From the 200. So again, this rule about uh, the 200 MA. I was in the NVAX just a couple of days ago. Um, uh, from the 200. Uh, the rule the rule that I'm sharing with you about the 200 MA is not applicable only to day trading or gap trading. It is definitely applicable to swing and core trading too. Look at the sell-off right into the 200, get stopped. Where did this breakout come from? The 200. This was not as tight, so I, I don't... Uh, this was actually great on the monthly chart, legacy, as a climb, as a higher low transition A. Weekly was good too, had a, a monster move. Um, but again, this is applicable to all time frames all time frames the larger the time frame the more significant it is uh, i was looking at the pm just um, today or ye or yes today as a possible transition a so what's transition a the four stage cycle right and that's transition a when the stock goes from stage 1 to stage 2 but look at it is it near the 200 is it like pacing above it or no it's well below it guess what not interested in it does that make sense not interested in it I like the ones that originate off the 200. I don't remember this symbol off the top of my mind. M Y R M or or R Y A M or R Y A M. Look at the gap. But this is not why I'm bringing it up because I played this as a core play. I just want to show you what happened. Take a look. What a beauty when you have a rising 20 MA and a flat 200. This is the squeeze play right the pinch play and then you have a higher lows right equal highs and finally the 20 MA, this is a shakeout on volume which was good and finally that 20 ma pinches the stock from underneath the 200 and it pops perfect i was actually in it for a long time so that's the r y a m i'm glad i remember the symbol because this was a pretty good one pretty good example and then here apparently a few days ago i didn't have this on my list uh, or maybe, oh, that's more than a few days ago, a month ago, gap just above the 200, pulled pulled back to it. It wasn't just above, it was kind of well above, pulled back to it, and then got bought, right? So just keep that in mind about the 200 MA. You might say, well, isn't that a line on the chart? Yes, it is. And I am all for being objective and focusing on price action, not lines on the chart, not indicators. I do not advocate using indicators. But because there are enough people that use these moving averages, such as the 200 and the, the 20MA, those are the most probably, I would say, commonly used moving averages. 
the 200 being a long-term moving average, the 20 be, being a medium-term to short-term moving average, they react, the prices react to them. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If everybody buys at this line uh, on the chart, guess what? It's going to be just, just as though it was a price support. Does that make sense? So it acts as support, whether you like it or not, right? Uh, whether it's objective or subjective support. It, in this case, it's subjective. It's a Western tool designed to locate support, and it works. Enough people use it, so it works. Uh, no problem. I'm going to use it too. Uh, I'll do a video at some point about the 20-period moving average, which to me is even much more important because I'm a trend follower, a trend trader and the moving average works best in trending markets. And so those are the kind of markets or stocks that I focus on, trending stocks. Um, so, uh, so I'll do a video at some point about the 20 MA, but I have to say, people that bash the moving averages and they don't know how to use them, that's the thing. I'm all, again, I'm all for being objective and, and doing away with all, doing away with any and all indicators. The moving averages are, indicators uh, but they're also directional tools so they they help in many many different ways they help smooth out the the chart you can read i can read trends and charts much faster when i have moving averages on 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 the chart um, so again i'm all i'm all for using just pure candlesticks and volume maybe but these tools are very very helpful and um, i hope you agree with me um, i hope you enjoyed today's video if you'd like to learn more about um, what I do and want to watch what I do and participate in some of the trades that I call, uh, feel free to check out The Black Room. Link is in the description. Have a great rest of the week and take care, everybody.